Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Tula with another new video. As we have started, auto river building detailing, I mean building elements detailing and its bar bending schedule. Okay, so uh, in our previous video, so I mean in our previous some video, we have just uh, completed our river, I mean tie or stir up detailing then we have completed our foundation and also our column detailing and i have told you that in this lecture i will just show you that how will detailing our beam so if you're new here you should watch our previous video that link are given in description okay and also uh, the autocad detailing tut uh, lecture tutorial are also given in detailing and also that uh, auto driver tutorial series that link are also given in the description so you can watch that from there now and uh, also if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get updated update ever first now i will go for beam detailing now see here this is this is the actually cat detailing for our beam and uh, if you don't know that how to create a detailing like that then you can watch our uh, the video that link are given in description for full building uh, detailing by using AutoCAD okay and actually this is the actual detailing for a beam or for a actually for a beam okay for a beam or great beam so uh, actually I'll just delete it actually this is the detailing now here actually for the detailing we are not able to find out our the requirement of reinforcement easily just we have to manually calculate for it but they have a good tool like auto river here and if you are following my previous lectures then you know that about the toolbar and also that download and installation link are given in description okay now here by using that auto river tool we will draw a river and uh, it will give us the actual data okay it will give us the actual data with respect to our detailed drawing okay so uh, for my work purpose i have draw every line with using that polyline okay I have uh, draped the line with using that polyline. So if I select that, just see here the wall line have selected. And if I select here, wall line have selected like that. If I select here, see that wall line have selected. Actually, I have selected that wall line by using poly. I have created that wall line by using polyline so that I can draw that line perfectly. Okay. So again, I'm requesting you if you're new here you should watch our previous video to understand about that completely when it's done now I'll go for auto river okay and uh, I'll select poly P river that means poly river so here you have to give the diameter of that bar so uh, suppose I'll give use 14 mm diameter 14 millimeter then here 14 millimeter. now it's uh, telling us select polyline so I'll just select polyline here and see it's giving us uh, that crank distance 43 mm then here I mean that for that hook actually and here or uh, that band portion then here from that point to that point it's showing 1248 millimeter and here that point to that point it's 157 and actually it's showing us a big value you can reduce it okay so I'll just you'll control Z I'll use control Z now I'll first of all I'll go here a scale then from here I'll just use a scale uh, 1 10 then again I'll go poly river then enter 
with 40 mm diamond then I'll simply select it now see here now it's giving us that value okay and uh, it's okay so this is 16 with 16 mm bar and actually uh, suppose you have draw that river line by using the simple line option then how will use the auto river tool the simply click that river okay simply click that river and now uh, define your river diameter suppose 14 mm enter then then specify a starting point so this is the starting point specify next point so this is our I will stop our uh, that ortho mode then this is our next point then I'll go our another next point so this is our another next point and I'll go ahead this is our another next point just see here just see this is your river and here you can also see that the uh, degree of that crank and here one for one its length and here its length and here also its length so in this way you can draw it and um, I think that it's okay to you okay now I will simply use that option and I'll give 14 mm dia enter then okay it's done just see here it's it's a draw the bar and again I'll select enter then 14 mm bar then that is again enter 14 mm bar then select that one then enter 14 mm bar then select that one and then enter 14 mm bar then select that one now see here if you see here just see here our wall value is okay are all values okay but if you want to if you want that I you will not show that leveling data then you can go here option then river okay uh, it's okay then dimension here it's giving you dimension then it's telling us local uh, draw local dimension so you can reduce that okay you can reduce that here and click ok and after that if you draw then this value will not come so I'll just use that option draw local option so river then for history of ok then for this is for mark ok the cell this is for cell and this is for font ok so it's ok now I'll go close so just see here our wall data is ready now we have to do our main thing we have to do our main thing suppose we have uh, we have a cross section and if we take a hair cross section just they have two bar in top and they have two bar in bottom from starting to end and they have a extra bar I mean extra river they have another extra river the one extra river and they have one extra river and they have one extra river okay and here they have also another extra river so I'll go for leveling okay I'll go for leveling or mark before she uh, bargaining she just you have to go for mark it now I'll just go here mark okay just I'll go here mark click here first of all I will mark that main bar okay and I'll consider this bar is four bar with that two and the bottom two then I'll select then when I have select then I'll just give line from I'll just draw a line from here to here and it's uh, showing the value here but uh, but it's showing very little okay so it's okay for now and in next I'll just escalate so just see here it's showing us full length it's showing us the full length of our river with millimeter I mean in millimeter and here it's showing the bar diameter diameter of bar and it's not showing the number of bar okay so I will define it simply I'll select that and from here I'll go edit and here I'll give number how 
4 4 number bar ok the number bar 4 then ok so now see here n4 and 4 14 mm 4 bar ok in top and bottom now I'll go for that one so for that now click mark then simply select that and here select that value then click here okay then click here and so I'm select it and then edit then number one okay the one river here then it's one now again I'll go for that one simply select it and from here take a line from here to here like that then select then edit and it also one then okay okay now I'll go for that one so for that I'll go mark select that one and from that point to that point then select and edit this is also one then okay so when it's one okay and now we have one here and one here so I'll just go here mark then select it okay and then from that point to that sorry escape then mark then select that from that point to that point then select that edit and also it's one then okay and we have the last one mark one select that one from that point to that point then select edit it's also one so we have marked our wall bar there are one two three four five six because we have six types of bar here okay now I'll just simply select them and go for a scale and I'll give here 50 then enter uh, it's a little bit okay now and if I move it here and then if I select and move it first of all I will just move it I'll just move it here and also escape I'll select that and I'll move it here so it's okay okay and also in that side it's okay so when it's okay now just see here I'll just move it little bit in that set so if you see here it's showing us the number of bar requirement for that three arrangement this is for three arrangement it's showing the number of bar 283 kg so if I click here BBS it will update okay so I'll simply click here BBS now see here it's an update and here they have one two three four five six seven okay the seventh thing it's a update this is our the one river here this is the total length the number and here the kg the number of kg required so here our one crank bar and here quantity the kg here the number of kg here record which showing us okay now here also another bar here also another bar here also another bar okay so now ultimately it's now showing us the total number of reinforcement required 300 342 kg right so for that work we have found our bar bending schedule so actually in this way you can create your beam detailing with bar bending schedule i think it's clear to you and it will give you a very quick access for it so in our next video i'll just show you that how we'll draw a i mean how we'll create detailing for our slab okay so thank you
thank you very much yes to stay connected till next video and also if you think that that is helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment your, your own like and your own share inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much